Hello and welcome to Capacity TV. I'm Lawrence Doe, Deputy Editor of Capacity Media and I'm here with Kevin Mulholland, Managing Director of Deutsche Telekom North America. So Kevin, please tell me a bit more about your activities in North America. Well, hi Lawrence, thanks for having me here. Uh, Deutsche Telekom North America is the operating arm of Deutsche Telekom Global Carrier and the network infrastructure departments of Deutsche Telekom in the US. All of our employees are members of those two organizations that are respectively run by Rolf Nibziger and Bern Schulte Sprenger, who I, I know you met earlier. Um, yeah, our mission in the United States is to sell the global carrier products that uh, Deutsche Telekom Global Carrier produces and to operate the network that network infrastructure team has in the United States. Our tasks are doing sales, uh, customer service, billing and finance, uh, the r plan, build and run of the network operations, and uh, some business development activities. It's an important market for global carrier and for the network infrastructure team. We have uh, approximately a little less than one quarter of the revenues of the group wholesale coming out of the US from our customers here. Thank you, Kevin, that was really insightful. So my next question is, how is Deutsche Telekom Global Carrier presenting new opportunities as a value proposition to the wholesale market? I think Deutsche Telekom Global Carrier is in a unique position in the wholesale space, you know, mainly focused on Europe. And that has to, and it really resonates with our US customers. And that has to really do, in my opinion, about the history of the organization, how it grew up at the same time the internationalization of Deutsche Telekom took place. So if you turn the clock back around 20 years ago, I guess there was three or 4% of revenues from Deutsche Telekom were from outside of Germany. That figure today is greater than 60%. And that's due to the internationalization process that Deutsche Telekom did. Most of it uh, entailed investing in NATCOs in uh, Central and Eastern Europe. I think we made over 15 investments uh, in that region and were well, uh, well situated in that market. We also, of course, have our investment in the United States. Um, what Deutsche Telekom Global Carrier did during that time is we were kind of the de facto wholesale provider for the group. And as we took on more NATCOs, our responsibility grew. Now, this is all done on a voluntary basis. We don't have a mandate to provide these services, but there's certain you know, common sense efficiencies and synergies that can be made by grouping certain wholesale functions together. And voluntarily, you know, the group has done that over time. And you know this really was uh, in the beginning working very very well for our voice services and our signaling services. So many of the group participants took that. Uh, but then over time, you know, we started to stitch the net networks together that we had in Central and Eastern Europe with Germany and with NNIs that we created with partner companies all around Europe. So we really created a strong footprint in Europe. Most recently, we've now made NNIs in the United States as well, so we're really expanding our coverage. And what this allows us to do is to offer, especially in the access and transport area, services across a wide spectrum. And for many U.S. service providers, you know, this resonates with them again. They like the idea that they can come to a provider such as Deutsche Telekom Global Carrier, buy access and transport services not only in Germany but in Central and Eastern Europe. Uh, and in many of the countries around it. So we really have a strong footprint, and I think that that is one of our real strengths and a value proposition that uh, people appreciate. So we announced uh, during this show that we have a new uh, voice management platform. We've gone to Linksys system, which is just being implemented right now, which is gonna give us new management tools, new management intelligence, more fraud monitoring capability, you know, a single interface for, for billing and for uh, route changing, so just a really better tool that will help our voice traders and will help our customers. And that's just being put in as we speak. Additionally, we have a, a re we're announcing a first product in wholesale for IoT. You know, most of the IoT services from Deutsche Telekom are on the retail basis, but now we actually have a wholesale product. And that's a regionalized packet gateway. And what we're doing there is we've set up a gateway in the U.S. and we've set one up in Asia that will allow for internet breakout. So the way carriers usually work is they have home-based routing where all internet traffic is brought back to the home market so they can control, control the quality. But there's a latency issue there. So for some sensitive IoT functions, like for the automobile industry, you need to really break out the internet in the country that you're in.
And that's what we've done with this product, and we're doing it for our parent company right now, for one of their enterprise customers. But we can offer it to other service providers as well uh, and let them use this platform for doing regional breakout for their uh, IoT customers. So it's our first foray into the uh, wholesale IoT space, and we're really optimistic that this has a big future. And you know, when you think of the latency and IoT and edge computing, it all kind of comes together is that you know people want really high speed stuff with better throughput and lower latency. On top of that, we have another announcement, a data center mirroring product that we're announcing. And that product is really a transport service, nothing more than a transport service with special encryption on it. And that encryption you know, will allow for data centers to connect to each other and then for customers to mirror their traffic inside of the data center so that they have backups. And that's something that's new that's coming out with our uh, DWDM platform based on our Sienna technology. So those are the real main announcements that we had at the show, but more is coming, don't, don't worry. Yeah, and then we're always having a, a product pipeline and trying to introduce new products and features as soon as uh, we think that there will be something that customers will benefit from. Great, looking forward to it. And uh, how are you transitioning to stay a relevant wholesaler? Oh, that's a good question. You know, there's um, two elements of that I like to discuss, like business transformation and innovation, because that's what, you, in my opinion, are the two major ingredients for remaining relevant. And we talk about business transformation issues for a second. You know, we see that as a people issue. You know, that's about people empowerment. It's about leadership. It's about training. On the other side of the coin, there's innovation. So, you know, Deutsche Telekom's... Um, real strategy is to lead in the customer experience, to lead in technology, and to lead in productivity and efficiency. And without innovation, how can you do that? So innovation is at the forefront of everything we do. On the wholesale level, you know, we're working with the Global Leadership Forum and with the i3 Forum on topics like blockchain, for settlement, for roaming, and for other, other issues, on fraud management. Uh, you know, on a group-wide basis, you know, we have the T-Labs in Berlin, which is our research institute, and they are working on many blockchain applications, IoT applications, edge computing, and many, many other things. So, you know, and, and then on top of that, we also have Deutsche Telekom Capital Partners, and that organization is actually investing in these new technologies as part of a venture fund that we have. So we're trying to cover innovation topics, uh, you know, on all angles. And I think we're doing a, you know, a good job in this respect. And um, yeah, for the transformation that's coming, you need both. You need the, the people to you know, feel empowered and to be productive and motivated. And you also have to have the right technology to provide services to the customers. That's excellent, Kevin. Thank you very much. You're, you're welcome. Um, thank you very much to our audience viewing this.